Cause this time around I'll fill your cup with love I'll say I love you more I'm right here Living out of space I think I lost my mind I got a rhythm I usually go out and sing from Monday to Friday So I'll get up like around 7 a.m. because I like to sing for the morning commuters. I go to the station, set up, and I sing. Lost in a world where I can breathe. The city ain't the same without you next. My cousin Daryl, he had like a talent that he was born with for singing. But I really want to We were like nine or ten. A bus would go by and blow the horn and he'd be like, oh that was a B sharp. Being around him, I learned a lot. When Demir started, Demir sucked. Demir <laughs> could not hold a note. He was jumped from this to that. Seeing him so confident in himself, even when he wasn't doing well, even when a lot of his notes were wrong, he just would not stop. And eventually, he just got better and better and better and better. It's a lot of hustle and bustle going into the city. And to hear his voice in the morning was kind of like, OK, the day will be all right now. now you want to leave and I'm begging you please, but you don't want to be with me. People see him and see this confident man who's really tall and handsome, engaging with people. Some of them don't know what he had to go through. When you come from somewhere as low as he's been, you really have nowhere else to go but up or to just My mom started doing drugs and my, my dad went to prison. So I immediately like, just lost both parents, in a, in a sense. That made me angry. It was hard, you know, it was, I was hurt and I didn't like being the outsider. And so I started to like misbehave, I started to act up. I was abused by my grandmother. Her husband was abusive to her. He would hit her and beat her and she would take that out on us. One day we were outside and she came at me with um, something. She had something in her hand. I don't remember what it was. And she was going to hit me with it. And I, I picked up something on the floor. And so <laughs> it was almost like we had this standoff. 11 years old, I have to fight my grandmother. And eventually, she just put, the, put whatever she had down and said, OK, that's how you want to be and then walked away, and I think like two days later, I was in the group home. The group home wasn't better. <laughs> the group home <laughs> like jumped out of the pot into the fire. I've gone through a lot of stuff in my past as a, as a kid. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of pain that's inside of me, and music helps me get it out on a daily basis. It's like medicine. It's my medicine. People listen to it, and I connect with them. It's important with him to connect to people because growing up, there was a lot of disconnects in places where there should have been a full connection. Connecting with people was his way of healing. You put a bullet in my chest that's about to explode. I've been crying all night like I'm three years old. One of the best moments for me in the subway is when I first started singing. I was singing Rihanna uh, Stay, and this guy is like standing right here, like and he's crying. I didn't know what to do. So I hugged him, and he put his arms around me, and he squeezed me. The train comes, people get on, get on the train. The train leaves just me and him on the platform. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but my friend committed suicide last night. I'm like getting emotional just thinking about it. I think two years later, I got a message on Facebook. And he was like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made it to school that day. And I was just like, wow, wow, you know? I made a difference in somebody's life just from simply going out in the subway and singing a song. If it's that simple to like make a change, a difference and touch someone, I would do it every day for the four or five people who might get pissed at me. 
that one guy, it could, it could be 6,000 people can be pissed at me. That was worth it. In that moment, I decided this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. To know that I can like go out and help people, and they don't even expect it, you know. They're not. They didn't ask for it. I'm just there, and I'm singing, and they they get it. And then they message me. I'll get messages on Facebook or YouTube. I heard you singing today, and it really, really made my day. And that's like really special to me. Like you, you can't top that. Two and a half years in the subway before I have ever put up a sign with my name on it or before I put up a video or anything. For two years, and people will come to me and say, hey man, you have an album? After hearing that so many times, I decided, let's give it a go. It's so expensive to record. I put up a GoFundMe. I was like, I wanna record. So I put it up and there are people putting money on there, supporting me. Like, oh, I was in New York for a weekend a month ago and really enjoyed hearing you. Here's 70 bucks for your GoFundMe. I can't wait till your album comes out. And it's incredible. If the mayor wakes up in the morning and says, this is what I want and I'm going to get it, that is what the future holds for him. He's going to go very far in music. The album will come out, it will happen. I've done two songs so far. I'm working on the third song. Some artists have managers. I have like the community, the, the people around me in public. I'm doing this because it heals me. And I'm doing this because I think it heals other people. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at whoisuncharted 